that. I'm just getting over COVID and uh, I wanted to show you <laughs> I wanted to show you guys. Um, Aaron Carter has new ticket dates up and I just, I'm gonna show you how ridiculous this shit is. So here's a show that's going on in West Hollywood and limit 10 tickets per person. General admission tickets are 20 bucks and they go right up to $600 with a so 500 bucks with a bar credit like the, at the whiskey a go go. How many people do you think or how many people think that this concert's going to be canceled? Here's another one, Seattle, Washington. Oops, I guess that one's been canceled. Let's see, San Jose, California. Oops, that one's been canceled. One in Arlington, Texas, buy on Eventbrite. The VIP experience, $125. Are you fucking kidding me? You get a poster. Woohoo, poster guys, a poster. Imagine you get a poster. And you get a picture with Aaron on your phone or camera. And you can go to the sound check. This is Saturday, July 16th in Arlington, Texas. So let's see. Scottsdale. Canceled. Greeley. Standing room only and up to 200 bucks for a ticket for one freaking ticket. Oh, it's for four. Aaron Carter is a multi-platinum singer and is widely regarded as one of the, the biggest pop acts of all time. He achieved wild success with his debut album and sold 10 million copies. And it's listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the youngest singer to have four consecutive top 10 singles. Aaron has performed live around the world to 10 million fans, to billions of fans. In 2017, Aaron released his first song in 14 years, sooner or later. In less than eight months, it generated over 75 million streams on Spotify and ended... Top hits the U.S. viral chart, the global viral chart, Fool's Gold, which Billboard described as an intriguing look at how the singer best known for his radio Disney hits has evolved over the past decade, debuted in 2017. already surpassed 7 million streams and charted on the Billboard plus Twitter emerging artist charts. The multi-platinum pop superstar who has toured the globe with other artists such as Britney Spears and Backstreet Boys. It's funny how he's still trailing on the Backstreet Boys. 
doesn't mention his brother. Just returned for an intimate U.S. tour in support of his new album, Love, that was released. That's not a new album, bud. February 16th, 2018. Aaron, who has co-writing and co-production credits on every track of Love, says, For me, it's all about the music. And if there's one lesson I've learned this last year, it's not to dwell in the past, but to live for the future. What a fucking joke. Sorry. This... Aaron Carter is the only person that I can watch on YouTube and be yelling at the frigging screen. He just does my head in. Oh my God. He says he's sober, but yet like pops pills all day long for nothing because he's already said he doesn't have bipolar. He's not... says he's sober but yet like pops pills all day long for nothing because he's already said he doesn't have bipolar he's not schizophrenic but yet takes gabapentin and he takes seroquel and zanny and like a whole shit ton of medication like as a recovering addict this guy infuriates me to my core man like calls his brother a rapist, but yet there is like multiple women coming forward saying that he is a groomer, that he is a scammer. There, like so much shit is being said about this man. Like if you can call him a man, he's actually like a, a boy child, a, a boy in a man's body, like yelling on Instagram lives for attention. Like if that doesn't scream bipolar and schizophrenic then I don't know what is and like I don't understand how he gets such um how he gets such a a following of people but yeah he calls them as disabled cuties girls that he grooms and and like takes money from like buys breakfast they pay for his friggin mortgage like I don't know how he gets such a, such a dedicated following. That's the word, such a dedicated following. And he goes on TikTok and, and like fraternizes children, like children, children, like not, not 10 year old children, but like little children, but like this guy says he's sober. His teeth are falling out of his head. But yet he says he's sober. Like sober from huffing. He might be sober from, well, I don't even think he's sober from huffing, to be honest. I really don't. I think he's a closet huffer. He does that stupid shh thing all the time and they're always like pointing out at girls who don't want to ride. Like, oh, there goes another one. There goes another one. She don't want to ride. <laughs> the other, see? The only girl that wants to ride is his dog. And even then, I don't think his dogs want to ride too much with him. <laughs> so, yeah. Look at this guy. Dry old lips on him. I'm not usually one to make fun of people's appearances, but like, if you're saying you're sober to a recovering community, like you had best be doing your best to be sober, man. Cause like, you're just a piece of shit. And I don't know what that dancing is, but it ain't it. It ain't it. And they're always pointing at something like not finger dance like what in the hell see like, like he's pointing right in that guy's face 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, get up on your Range Rover. Get scuff marks all over it. He just traded... He traded something in. I don't know if he traded in the Range Rover or his Escalade. And he says he's getting a Bentley. The lie is like... I don't know how somebody can lie so freely. I think it's because he's been doing it and getting away with it for so long. But I think the end is coming for him. Not the end of his life, but the end of his popularity. Like, it comes and goes. It comes and goes in waves. But when you're feeding off of disabled characters all the time and taking money from them as donos, like shit like that just, it does my freaking head in man like it does my head in I don't like a scammer and I don't care what anybody says I will call a scammer piece of shit out any freaking day so much about this guy annoys me like it just annoys me I just I could sit here and just yell at the screen and shake my freaking fist at this guy but we're gonna end with a positive note I hope he does get sober you know uh, a comeback story is always something that people want to see but when the train is headed so far to the, into the brick wall, man, I don't know if it has time to even stop and think about a comeback. He is just doing damage control. And when you're doing damage control after damage control after damage control, like you don't have time to check the engine to see if it's running on the wrong track. So that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I'm just coming back from COVID, being sick with COVID, so I've been a little bit delusional and really not making videos, and this is what I've been entertaining myself with, and it's entertaining, let me say that much. <laughs> uh, I love you guys, I love you guys. <laughs> Wish me well, man. I've been, uh, this is like seven days THC free. I was a recovering addict, but I still was on the THC, but I've quit. I've quit. I'm trying new, uh, I'm trying new medication for anxiety and borderline and all that shit. And if I truly, truly want to give my medication a chance, then I can't be altering my brain chemistry on THC. So, so far so good. Recovery. Love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye.